this is it. We got to this project just in time. This is, uh, I think, a big part of our history. We know that these films are on the brink of decomposing to the point where they'll become useless. We don't have any experimental data for modern weapons in the atmosphere. The only data that we have are the old tests, and so it gets a little bit more complicated. My name is Greg Spriggs. I'm a nuclear weapon physicist. I work at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and I'm in charge of a special project to scan and reanalyze all of the old atmospheric test films so that we can obtain better data for future physicists. My name is Jim Moy. I worked in the motion picture industry for 40 years plus uh, and I'm here working at Lawrence Livermore scanning the uh, above ground atmosphere test films. When these films were obtained back in the 50s uh, EG&G was the company that was responsible for recording the films themselves and then analyzing the films and using the technology they had back in the 50s, it wasn't that accurate. We just decided to try to reanalyze the films and, and come up with better data and reduce the uncertainty of the data for our stockpile stewardship and for understanding nuclear weapon effects and getting a better answer. I'm very surprised by the condition of the film, mostly. Um, it's in pretty good condition, considering it wasn't stored in the best conditions. It took several years of locating the films, and when we found out that most of the data that had been published was wrong, then we decided we needed to rescan and reanalyze all the films. In the process in prepping and scanning the film, from the point of opening a can that maybe hasn't been opened for decades, is identifying what type of film it is, the general condition. Then we have to go through and preview the roll, thread the scanner, obviously, and decide the exposure so that we can scan it appropriately to capture the entire optical range. We think there were originally about 10,000 films. We've located about 6,500 of them and to date we've scanned a little over about 4,200 films and we've analyzed just a small fraction of those. We've probably analyzed uh, maybe on the order of about 400, maybe 500 of those films. I enjoy very much uh, being involved in preserving the film and the history because um, it, it is going to be gone at some point and we don't have forever to do this. By looking at these films, we found a lot of different pieces of information had not been analyzed back in the 50s and we're discovering new things about these detonations never been seen before. And so the legacy I'd like to leave behind is basically a, a set of benchmark data that can be used by a future weapon physicist.